Hello, students. Today we are going to talk about another topic in database, which is called structured query language, or we can call this SQL, or simply pronounced as SQL. Okay, what do we mean by SQL or SQL? Actually, it is a programming language for maintaining data. Especially large amounts of data in a DBMS, sorry, sorry, this should be DBMS database management system. And with SQL, we can insert data or make queries on data, or we can update or delete data in a database management system, and it is also called a fourth generation language. And we will talk about the generation of programming language in later topics. And SQL is also an NC standard. It is a very well-known standard in database. And here we can see an example of a query. And we are actually performing records filtering. For example, we have a large table here. This is a table. And we call this rows, the records in the table. We also call this the columns or the fields of the table. And we can see that the rows store all the related information of a particular customer. We have customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code, and country. And therefore, each row or each record has the same structure in a table. And as you can see, in the second table, we have fewer records. And can you see why? Actually, only parts of the records or rows are displayed. And you can see that all the records has the same country. That means only the records with the country name UK or United Kingdom are displayed. And this process is called filtering. And now we're going to see how can we use SQL to perform filtering in a database table. 